And welcome lovers to the Love Dr. Pamela Smith show. Thank you for joining me as we do a good talk tonight and make sure that you get real solutions, real strategies to finding love, getting love and keeping the love, right? So the topic tonight is how uh, do you meet or date doing social distance that we have going on during this time uh, in um, 2020? What do you do? So make sure you share this with someone that may need some help on understanding what they need to do to get out here dating and looking for a mate or uh, trying to enhance the relationship they're already in. All right. Now, let's talk about this real quick and um, get, get uh, some questions in on this conversation because this should be pretty juicy. Now, first off, for those who may not know or understand what it is, what is, what is social, social distance that is going on in 2020? So what has happened is in our time of the year 2020, uh, we're dealing with a virus that is said to cause harm if you are breathing too close or maybe you're possibly sick, that whatever you're breathing or may be coming that comes out of your body can be passed to someone else. So what the CDC required and wanted us to do would stay six feet apart from each other uh, to prevent the passing of this particular virus. So we're CDC and many others are working on finding a vaccine uh, for the virus for those who possibly we have uh, some issues. So that means it consists of you being six feet apart in space yourself from another person um, to make sure that you don't catch this particular virus okay so in the meat they also require CDC say we need to wear a mask if we're in high areas of, of uh, uh, people like the grocery stores shopping centers uh, things that cause more people to uh, be a part of restaurants, things like that. And they want you to be six feet apart in not only distance, but also seating if you're in a uh, place of business. Okay. Now, and, it, and of course, it's difficult to maintain. So what do you do um, when that is happening right now what is it that you could do to meet someone in the process of all of this happening now the reason i'm bringing and having this talk about it is i you got to understand what you're in so you now know that this supposedly involves uh, a virus but you also this also has to do with your understanding it's also another way of your taking your time and being patient to meet people to make sure that of course now you this is a person you don't mind getting to know and relate now you'll stop picking and dipping and dabbling and meeting this person and meeting that person and getting with that person now you'll focus more on a person that can fulfill your needs and your happiness and this way this is causing us to really focus more on who we want to get to know. Now, why is it focusing? Why 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 is it doing that? Because now you're not sure of this person, of what they have been doing, uh, what uh, who they have been with, or who they've been around. So now this makes you be more weary of the possibility of bringing that virus to someone you are around. So now you have to be more mindful and careful about who you meet. Now, so let's go into meeting. Let's talk about the meeting someone, going out. Now, clubs are back open, bars are back open, restaurants are back open. So what are you going to do if you are in this situation and you see someone that you're interested in? Now, supposedly, a person that's coming out is not so what supposed to be sick. <laughs> They're not supposed to have some type of cold. Not supposed to be hacking and coughing. You will hope they behinds are not out knowing they have an issue, right? So 
your, your, your belief is they are okay, right? That's what, that's what you would think. They are okay. Well, if you meet someone out that you're interested in, you need to quickly have a conversation at a distance. Now, it's going to be kind of odd, but you can stand some to someone four feet at the most, or you can stay in your seat and they're in their seat and have a conversation. Or if you see someone that you're interested in, you can approach them and be at a distance. And what you need to do is have a conversation to say, hey, I, I, I'm really interested in getting to know you. Could we exchange number? And, and it, you know, when you get to that point, I don't say do that at the beginning. I'm just getting to, I'm just getting past all the juju, juju, juju and get to the point. You go ahead, you ask that person for their telephone number. Let's get together and talk. Later, I would really get to like to know you. And the reason you're doing that is, you're giving this person a chance to let you know where they are. Because see, here's the thing. You need to know now how a person is living, where they're living, who they're living with, what they do on a daily basis. Are they uh, out and about all the time? Are they with family most of the time? Are they at home most of the time? And that can only happen by you having a conversation often on the telephone. So you have to have that type of conversation to find out what this person is, what this person is doing before you take them on a date. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, I want to go on. No, you've got to do all this on the phone. It's called a uh, phone conversation. Yeah. Call it what you want. Phone sex, love sex, connect, romance, connect. Call it what you want. <laughs> All I know, you need to wait. So, there's nothing wrong with meeting the person, but you need to wait to get with the person. Okay, we could say a week. We could say two weeks. I'm not saying go forever. What I'm saying is you have to find out how this person is living their life. What are they doing each day? Uh, so that you'll know if this is someone you would like to go out with that you don't mind being around. You see what I mean? Okay. Now, that so when you finally make that decision to date, you will know mostly of the possibility of what they're doing. Got it? Now, does this work when it comes to uh, being out and about? Yes, it does. All you have to do is stay at a distance. Have a quick conversation about hi, you know, how are you, how are things going for you today, um, sunny day, you know, little small talk and then say, hey, I'm not going to hold up your time. Is there any way we can get together in the future and let's exchange numbers and be done with it, okay? This is the same thing you should do before the virus even took place. But see, before the virus, we were so quick to have these Quick one, one, get together, go out to eat together. That you know, breakfast in the morning, uh, one night stands. Uh, you know, we in in cluster parties. So it's it's a different day and time of how you now are going to meet someone. Now let's get to the dating. Now, as I was talking about it yesterday, dating us uh, and looking to date someone is not hard actually. Uh, it's just that you got to think of different ways and you've got to be creative. That's it. You know, the dating part is being creative. And the reason why you have to be creative is because you know going to a restaurant, you're going to be what? In a, in a place that's really spaced out with barely any people and you're not going to really be close together. Now, of course, when you go out to eat, they let your party sit together. If it's two, they don't mind you sitting together in, 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 in the booth or however they're set up. Um, so that you can do. I haven't experienced or checked into the movie theater to see what they're going on. Any uh, other activities, they all are doing the required six feet apart of social distance. Now, if you're going to right now meet someone that you want to get to know, the only thing you can really pretty much do is take them out walking, uh, go to the park, have uh, dinner and lunch on the, in the park, uh, cruise, uh, 
uh, drive around Stone Mountain or something that your city has a fancy uh, place to do in your city. You know, something that, you know, we got the big Ferris. We're here in Georgia. You know, I don't know if it's turning, but you've got to find things that you know would have you in a, in a, in a situation of distance from another couple or another person. Okay. So the dating and meeting someone is not difficult to do when it comes to social distance. Right now, you just have to decide if this is something you're really ready for, okay? Because uh, we don't know how long it's going to take. Do you wait till it's over? No. If, you, if, you, if you're hoping to meet someone that can make you happy or can satisfy the desires that you seek, no. You don't wait. You have to get out. And you have to move around. You may meet them in a grocery store. You may meet them in a shopping center. You may meet them, you know, just walking. You you don't know, uh, but we don't know how long it's going to be. We don't know if it's going to take a year. We don't know if it's going to take 18 months. We don't know if it's going to take two years for them to change the way we live life right now. So you have to decide. Now, the same thing you take cautions in with this six feet, take the same caution you would when it comes to sex. That's why you have to take time to get to know the person. Because if you take it to the next level of sex, now you're asking the question about when was the last time you had a sexual activity. And don't be afraid to ask that question. But see, you all were afraid to ask it before. <laughs> because it was okay to get with this person because you, you made an assumption that they're fine. But now everybody got their mindset changed differently that, oh, I better find out if everything goes okay. Okay, the same way you can ask questions about this social distance, the same way you ask a question about their sexual activity. Because you're still dealing in the same situation to make sure you don't get any, any diseases or viruses from that. You know the you know the different types there are. I'll do a talk on the different types of disease and viruses to watch for when it comes to sexual relationships, right? So it's the same thing, okay? So I hope that information that I gave you will help you and uh, to get back out here and find a mate or date a mate doing social distance here in our 2020 and that you will meet someone and enjoy dating as we go on and, and go forward. So thank you for being a part of the Love Dr. Pamela Smith show. Remember, if you're single, just be patient. If you're in a relationship, take your time. Enjoy. Make sure it's a peace, joy, and happiness. So you've been with the Love Dr. Pamela Smith. I will be talking to you soon.